Hey guys, Nux 3.8 is out. So let's see what's in it. So it's an unplanned video. If you are expecting a tutorial or something else, then this video is not for you. You can quit this video. So being that said, let's get started. So we have the uh, release note in front of us. Uh, it says Nux 3.8. Uh, so the first point is CLI improvement. So now you can use uh, Nuxi module command to add the module, which is great. Uh, so we'll take a look at that uh, if you want to read more about it you can just click on it so nice addition uh, kudos to next team so yeah now you have the nuxi module add command which is good uh, previously what you, you had to do is you first had to install the dependent dependency itself and then you have to add the configuration but with this with this uh, cli tool now if you just add the module it would be added and also the boilerplate configuration for uh, configuration lines uh, will also be added to the to your next config file so which is awesome thing the best part is built in dev tools if you are not using dev tools you are missing out on a lot of things so yeah so build so the next dev tool is now finally in a stable version so if you are having a production application you are building it in nux3 then this tool is a must have another cool update we have is next image being added in the core package so now if you just use the next image component it will prompt you to install the next image uh, package so which is a good thing because if i have something uh, client focus then of course i'll be using next image uh, yeah so now you'll basically just use the component and then it uh, in the command line it will ask you to install the next image you just have to press yes and yeah it will be installed which is a great thing again then another uh, update i see uh, is deeper layout scanning so you remember if you have a component let's say you have a component in the components directory and then let's say you have another directory called ui and then inside the ui you have button dot view you can use ui button dot view uh, component so just like that now the layout also have the deeper scanning so let's say you have a different layout for desktop different uh, layout for your phone or something uh, you uh, want to organize your layouts in that case now it supports that so so this layout uh, basically it it would have been just default but now it will resolve to desktop dash default so this would be the name of the layout pretty neat feature well didn't need that but it's good to have the next feature is app manifest so now they are support the built-in manifest and the manifest would be generated in this route so now you can enable now it basically enables the payload for your preferred route so you can see an example here they have the route rules and the about goes to uh, the about us now let's say you have you have this page so now it would be redirected to about us uh, in in if it is in client side so that's a cool feature the next update is regarding uh, scope and context improvement so now uh, you can use the next composables uh, inside plugins and so what used to happen is basically you used to get this next uh context not available uh, the error now with the async context if you set the experimental features to true then you will not have that but i highly recommend you to not use these age features to your production app it might breaks the syntax might change and your whole app will break happened to me talking from my experience i had to spend a few hours refactoring the code so don't use these features just now for your production app but yeah uh, but it is there and it would be a stable in upcoming version the next update is regarding the next link default so now next link default comes with a another composable called define next link which you can use to create your own next link component i don't know where to use this yet but i will explore more and probably i will include it in uh in our upcoming videos probably we will be using that 
but yeah now it is there and you can create your own uh, link component good to have it after that we have the data fetching improvement and as you can read we have two very significant new feature for async data and use switch so now apparently you can set the deep to false to prevent deep reactivity of the data from those these composable well if you set the deep tag to be true so your if you then use the refetch uh it will still refetch but then it will not trigger the reactive effect which is i think give you some performance boost and there's this another option i can see you can now use get cache data option to handle custom caching for this composable well uh, previously uh, we used to uh, use a different composable called use next data to get the cached uh, data from uh, from previously fetched data using async data but now you have the get cache data option and now you can use that to uh, get your uh, cached payload which is a good thing and you can see a, a demo so uh, your normal async data and then your fetcher and then in the option you will get uh, the get data uh, callback you will get the key and then next app payload static key and you will basically uh, this will basically the async data will not be triggered if the cache data already exists i remember i created a similar kind of a feature for ssr friendly infinite scrolling and i had to use the next uh, next data uh, composable to use that that was quite a messy thing but now i guess i can uh, use this one and i can already uh, think of a better way to uh, rewrite my code so probably this is going to be uh, uh, useful for me as well then a bunch of experimental feature you can see uh, you can enable the deep feature by going to the experimental and then uh, using this uh, these options which is good thing and next we have the layer improvement so basically if now you use a next layer if you don't know about layers then then just think of it is as a next app which you can use on top of your application and it will give you a features i can give you an example of a, of a of a layer called next seo which is kind of a next module as well as a layer so it will give you options to add metadata and meta description og titles and description all that so now if you install a layer a layer so all the uh, layers um, middleware and plugin would be added to the top and then uh, it would have a higher precedence over your custom um, uh, middleware and plugin so you always get the layers information um, before uh, you have your own uh, middleware and plugins also the another update is if you are using a uh, remote layers now it would be included to the node modules folders so no more remote fetching it would be stored in your local file system now there is some changes on the channel name so the basically next three is now next uh, nightly previously it was edge now also for the next edge it would be uh, on the next nightly channel and for the kit if you are building a modules then it would be kit nightly so you can read more about this on the nightly release channel now let's see what we have in the nitro uh, 2.7 as yeah, if you don't know nitro is the backend uh, framework also created by the next team uh, this is basically powering the server route uh, of your next application so which is a good thing now let's say one of the most significant is that that now it saves some 40 percent bundle size in production because now it started using the node fetch uh if you are if you are not aware the the way you use fetch inside the browser now it supports also inside uh node.js so now they are using this fetch uh, function for their server and it basically result resulted to 40 percent of 40 percent bundle size reduction which now there are some type import changes so if you are using typescript you might you might be aware that you can import 
the type using this particular keyword which uh, tells the TypeScript compiler that it is only the type not the other things so now it is a default um, behavior now you have to explicitly uh, use this to import the uh, to import the types otherwise it will show you um, show you the error so i guess this is a good good thing because it is um, forcing you to use the best practice although i'm not sure how other people would feel but it is good to me because whenever i use i uh, import a type i always uh, use that so to upgrade your next version to next 3.8 what you have to do is basically you can just run nuxi upgrade and your uh, project would be upgraded if it is not working for some reason you are having some package lock file issues what you can do you can try deleting your node modules dot next folder and your node modules and then you can try nuxi upgrade and you can also add the flag f to force nux to upgrade to the latest version so that's it that's basically nux 3.8 i hope you uh you liked the video the video was not planned actually i was just reading the uh, change log and i thought i would sh i should just record my uh, screen and just make a low effort content but yeah uh if you like this kind of a low effort content then please do let me know so i can you know be more uh i, I can talk to you more freely uh, using this kind of a uh, content and the regular content would be posted on saturday and sunday so keep connected don't forget to subscribe the channel and also do join the discord server i'll meet you in the next video till then stay blessed stay happy bye